Whether he's playing boss dice from the prized window seat at Le Centrale, the enclosed deck, holding court at John's Grill, one of the oldest restaurants in the city, or being serenaded at Chief Sullivan's in North Beach, Willie Brown is a force of nature, unstoppable, unforgettable. All right, where are we going? My quest to uncover the secret okay. behind his longevity. Hello. I met Brown in his office and tried to sweet talk him with a little birthday pie. Okay. What would be your favorite pie? Sweet potato. Okay, give me another one. Okay, it would be Key another. lime. That's right. How'd you know that? Oh, that's a snitch. <laughs> Somebody told you that. <laughs> Speaking of birthdays. Do you have to blow out the candle? Do you have a, a certain wish that you do? Well, each time, I hope that I will be around to blow them out next year. That's my goal. They never heard and answer. And what a life. Willie Brown's unprecedented success is a long way from his childhood in tiny Mineola, Texas. At the age of 17, virtually penniless, he came to San Francisco to live with his uncle, doing odd jobs, driving a cab, or working as a janitor. He went to law school, got admitted to the state bar. And to have the nation acknowledge the racism which does in fact exist. And was then elected to the California State Assembly, where he served for 30 years. Yes, sir. Roughly half that time as the first black speaker of the assembly. Brown was then elected mayor of San Francisco. That's Kamala Harris at his side. How do you stay healthy? What did, do you have a routine? What are you doing? Well, I have always been very careful at the level of consumption on the food side, on the booze side. I try to get an adequate amount of rest, but above all else, I try to end the day without one issue still troubling me. The one thing this great communicator does not do. I will not text under no circumstance the kind of things that we politicians say and talk about in many cases are not what you would want to have to market. That evidence could defeat you. That evidence could get you put away. With a Biden-Trump rematch in the works, Brown wants to prove age is just a number. It's frankly uh, the very first time that I have in politics ever known of anybody to make age an issue. Cheers. Brown helped KPIX celebrate our 75th anniversary. Now, our turn to toast you. 90 years of an unparalleled life. Happy birthday, Willie Brown, like and may you have bomb. many, many more to come. Willie Brown's life is uh, quite a story. It is the subject of a new unauthorized biography written by veteran Sacramento reporter James Richardson. And also with us to set the record straight is the subject of the book, San Francisco Mayor Willie Brown. Welcome to both of you. Uh, have you two done a show together since this book has come out? No, we have, uh, I think, been on radio. Uh, he on the telephone, and I think I was in mm -hmm. person for KGO on one Sunday afternoon, but with Jackie Spear and somebody it. else, but did, that's it. All right, did you, like, did you like the book? I did not read the book. As I indicated to you at the outset, I can't remember when I've really read anything about me. I have read excerpts from the book, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, I read um, some parts of the galley proof early on, right. when it was still in preparation. Uh, and uh, I did talk to Jim Richardson. My family talked to Jim Richardson. My friends all talked to Jim Richardson. So I pretty much know what's in the book. But people are asking you for the book. Is that right? Well, uh, it's unbelievable. People think it's my book. I am around autograph every day. Every day since this book was published in early November, there's not been one day in which I have not had to sign uh, autograph Jim Richardson's book for somebody. <laughs> I have stopped saying it's not my book. How's that? I actually sign it as if it is my book. It's easier. Absolutely. How do you feel about that? <laughs> I expected that would probably happen. <laughs> All right, now this was, I found uh, By the way, I'm sorry it isn't my book. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think it's a great book. I want to tell you, I read it, and I, but I love politics, and I found it to be a, a meticulously written 35-year uh, history of California politics covering a lot of the characters who are larger than life uh, besides Mr. Brown. Mm -hmm. uh, you spent four years on this book. Mm -hmm. 
If you were to sum up what makes him so special in his political career, what do you think it would be? Well, I think Willie Brown is the last great political showman of the 20th century, a, uh, a century marked by some really great characters. And for, for a lot of reasons, uh, we've come to a point in our uh, national life where we don't have these characters and we don't celebrate them and enjoy them. And here's this one guy who's still out there uh, being uh, flamboyant, saying what's on his mind, and uh, always in motion, always saying things, always doing things, and, and uh, the image makers be damned. Uh, that's so unusual right now in our, our political life. It is, isn't it? So many bland politicians out there. Most of us are bland. You're not bland. Well, no, that's they are. true. That they is are. true. But I, mean, I, wasn't born, I wasn't born bland. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't acquire blandness. That's a birth defect. <laughs> you have crash somebody here? Did somebody here. crash this? Yeah. Did someone Ladies break in? Willie Brown. Willie Brown. Brown. Willie Brown. Would you like to describe what Mr. Brown is wearing Well, here? first of all, I would like to comment that this suit spent three weeks in the tailor shop trying to get <laughs> it like that. And in actuality, this suit, this tuxedo, this shawl-collared Brioni tuxedo was designed by the Speaker of the House. Uh, he's about to set a record, or in a couple years, I guess, as, as for his longevity as Speaker of the House, but in case anything goes wrong, he wants to have another field of endeavor. Uh -huh. really? So he is becoming quite us. a designer. Yes. And you designed this. Hi, Willie. How are you? You designed Hello, this. Man. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Mm. Nice right, to see right. you. Nice to see you. you. Please sit down. And Thank you, you designed this tuxedo, the shawl collar tuxedo. Yes. Uh, I suppose uh, some two or three years ago, um, having to use a tuxedo almost every other week. Uh, it becomes really boring to keep wearing the same tuxedo over and over and the double-breasted and the single-breasted and the peak lapels and all that just didn't go. So I started talking to Wilkes about the possibility of a shawl collar tuxedo made more on a single-breasted model so that there was not a lot of material and not a whole lot of shawl. And we went to work on it and this is what turned out. And you like the double, it's more, it's the double-breasted look I and mean, that's what you like in suits Well, it hides the weight. What yeah. weight? <laughs> a, little, a little later in the program, we're going to meet an actress who uh, played Yoko Ono in an upcoming TV movie. In a moment, we're going to be back with Wilkes Bashford and Willie Brown, America's best-dressed politician. And as we go to a commercial break, take a look at this uh, video because it's Willie Brown in a Jefferson Starship video. We'll be back in just a moment. <laughs>